One away. Hardy hits it back up the middle. That's going to score a run and maybe two as he is coming around third and he is going to get in there. Clutch RBI and that's going to be a go ahead run for the Las Vegas Aviators as Kyler swings at the first pitch and bounces it off the mound just over this second base. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to our regular scheduled programming here with Road to the Show with Kyler Murray. If you have been paying attention to my channel, you know I released a video yesterday on how to create Kyler Murray to get him to look like he is. And uh, so let me know if you enjoyed that. If that's something you'd like to see with other players, I could probably work that out. Um, if there's any other content you would like to see, you know, just MLB the show related, let me know. And, uh, or, you know, I don't know, sports related. What, hey, whatever. You just let me know in the comments down below. Um, we are going to jump in. I think we got one week left. We do. This is it. I don't think we're going to make the playoffs, but hey, let's see what we could do. So, uh, let's jump in. Let's play a little baseball. And then next episode, we'll be doing, I guess, maybe offseason unless they move us up for a little bit. I don't know how that's going to work out. And we got fielding. And uh, no, maybe fielding. Stealing and speed. Durability and ste speed. Reaction and speed. Let's do this one. So, yeah. Uh, let me know. I mean, I think it looks like Kyler Murray. Don't you? Pretty pretty close to it pretty close to it you know i'm not gonna complain too much and um i need to get in there and add some more music and stuff uh we're going against reno they're a pretty good team they got some good players over here um but you know we have kyler murray who is now a 63 overall he's moved up so big news for kyler murray as he moves up he's batting 311 on the season love to see that I don't, is this a home game? Not even sure. I believe so. <clears throat> so the Las Vegas Aviators, 77 and 67. Six games left in the season. I uh, don't think they'll be making the playoffs, but you never know. We'll see how it shakes out. Moving on, we have Adrian Martinez on the mound. He has four starts so far this season with a 6-3 record coming out of the bullpen. 2.41 on the ERA. Wow, they, they went through that quick. I didn't get a chance at all for that one. So, <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. I, I, we got a man on second here. If uh, if this is as it's, it's quite as... As exciting as past videos. I've been in a little bit of a funk this week. I'm not really sure. You probably noticed that in yesterday's video, and maybe even the video before that. I don't know why. It's just work's been stressful. Um Oh, this is deep. Come on, baby. Get out of here. No, it's gonna be short. Oh, oh no. Oh, I thought he was gonna tag up, but he doesn't. <coughs> but yeah, I've been I've been in a little bit of funk. I think some of it's work related, some of it's uh YouTube related. Um videos aren't they're kind of flatlining on me uh so not really sure what i need to do to make improvements to my video i want my videos to be better be better let's be honest uh just got to figure that out let's power swing it and that's on me all right las vegas up three to one right now man on first base bottom of the third Oh, I tried to hold back. Tried to hold back. Couldn't do it, though. Couldn't do it. All right. 0-1 count. We got a man on first. Jameson Hill on the mound. Oh, whoa. That's, was that early? I, did y'all see me jump? I, it looked like a fat pitch to me. Um, and I, I just didn't have my PCI. I got to get better at this PCI. I've been struggling lately with it. 0-2 is the count now. Oh, my God. He should have rung me up on that. But he didn't. 
All right, taking the slider out. We now two and two, so we're working our way through. <laughs> and I still got this cough or something going on. Come on, baby. See it, drive it. Let's go. Three ball, two okay, three. I cannot believe we've brought this back to a full count. What is going on? Three and one is the count. Hard hit, right? That's past the second baseman. I think we're going to stop here at first. But uh, we get runners on the corners now. And we get a hard hit. Oh, yes, we get the dynamic challenge, too. Something we don't see very often from Kyler Murray getting that dynamic challenge. And maybe we could get a stolen base here. Nope. They're going to look to try to pick us off. We have increased the speed a little bit. Come on now. Hey, you hang so you bang it, kid. Here you go. There it is. Oh, that's too high. Oh, they got me. Dang it. They got me. Good throw. Good throw by the catcher. I thought I had a good jump on that one too, but you know, with the slide step and an accurate throw, it makes it a little bit harder. Man, they got me good. I mean, not even close. How do we get such a bad jump on that? Is that just a great throw by him or what? All right, we got Tim Tawa. He's two for two already in this game with two singles. Top of the fifth here, one away. Shallow hit to center field. Kyler running forward for it. He's going to bring this one in and... Just like that. Yeah, it's going to be out number two. Kyler Murray. Now coming up here with a 4-1 lead. Bottom of the fifth. We have two runners on base now. And is that going to drop in? No, he's going to catch that one. Wow, hard hit. But uh, that left fielder made a nice jump he had a nice early uh reaction time a nice jump he gets over there makes the catch able to bring that one in and uh that's gonna bring up davison de los de los santos here in the top of the six eight to one now is the score full count with nobody out adrian martinez still on the mound pitching a pretty good game but when you have a seven run lead you can afford to make mistakes All right, so Skyler cupping up one for three. <coughs> Another dynamic challenge. Nobody on, nobody out. Bottom of the seventh. Hmm. Oh, that's back up the middle. That's going to be a base hit. And that should be a dynamic challenge victory for us here. Yes, it is. I'll take that any day of the week, let me tell you. And we are, what, two for four now here in this first game. Full count for Lawrence Butler. He's going to foul this one away. All right. Normally, I probably try to steal. Oh, no. But with a full count, I don't think it's worth it. Mitchell Stumpo not looking to throw home. <clears throat> that is hit hard for a base hit. That's going to be one baser. As we are going to stop there at second base. Number six. Designated hitter. Hmm. One one count now as we have Greg Dykeman up to the plate. Ooh, high pitch. That's going to be a two and one count. <clears throat> Bottom of the seventh. 
Ooh, low and inside. Three and one. Gonna put Ryan Noda up next. And they are still trying to pick me off. Number 92 back there. Deep right field. And we're gonna tag this one up. Ooh, this might be a closer play at the... Oh, oh, right, we're gonna be in safe. A little bit closer than I would like it to be, but we do manage to, to get over to third base. Now one away, and we are on third base. We're ready to score some runs here. Add to this dominating lead here in game one of the six game set. Lawrence Butler over at first. Ryan Noda at the plate. That one's going to be fouled back into the stands. One and two count now. And the pitch. Was that a was that a swing? What did you do there, Ryan? It's like you swung, but not until after the ball was already in the catcher's mitt. That's weird. All right. We got Daniel Susak up. Lawrence Butler was stealing on that one. And that is going to be out number three. So we in this one with no runs scored, two runners left on base, and an eight to one lead here going into the eighth inning. So with Junior Franco up, he's 0 for 3 today. Top of the ninth now, and this is an 0 and 2 count. Kyler running forward, brings it in, and one way here in the last, hopefully the last half, <clears throat> the last two outs, I should say, of the game. Man on second now. As they find a way to get a man on base. And Kyler making a tough throw over to third. Just doesn't have the arm strength to get it there. And that's what bothers me is because we know he has a strong arm. Because he's a quarterback, right? So we're going to take the victory here today. In game one of a six-game set against the Reno Aces. With that being said, we are going to move into game two. Adrian Martinez, 7-3 and three record on the season now. Aviators are leading 1-0 in the series. Kyler Murray going two for four. We move into game two. Sometimes Kyler does sit out a game, so... <clears throat> Unfortunately, I don't know if this is game two or game three. I won't know until the game's over. As you've noticed in previous episodes, if you've been tuning in regularly. The Reno Aces 56 and 89. They are not doing very good. All right, on the mound, Mason Miller. He has 30 starts on the season with a 7-8 and eight record. 4.45 ERA with 176 innings pitched. 161 hits given up, 78 walks. He's looking to add another win. We'll see exactly how that shakes out for him. Ooh, hard hit. <clears throat> to center field. Kyler Murray brings it in. And that's going to be out number one here in the top of the first. Kyler Murray up to the plate. He's going up against Matt Tabar. We've seen him a few times this season. He comes set. Nobody on. Interesting. It looks like he's throwing out of the stretch, even when he has nobody on base. Some pitchers do feel more comfortable with that. Let's ride. Let's go right here. 
That is going to be hit to center field. Can it drop in? No. No, the center fielder is going to track it down and bring it in for out number one. Really? Oh, there was a home run hit, I guess. There's two runs already scored. I just noticed that. I did not see that. Top of the top of the second. There it is. Bringing it in. <clears throat> so Kyler coming up to his his second plate appearance. Oh, for one with a line out in the first. Get your pitch right here. Let's see. We'll go power swing. Bottom of the third, man on first. He's going to throw a slider out of the zone. Ball one. <clears throat> and remember, Kyler went two for four in last night's game. He had two singles. Ooh, he swings one ball, one right shot. through that one. Couldn't keep up, catch up to it. That was a 94 mile an hour fastball no, he's in there. at about shoulder height. <clears throat> one one count. Yeah, you can do it. No one better. Let's go. He's going to hit line drive right center field. That's going to fall in for a base hit. That's going to move our speedster over to third base. And that's going to give us runners on the corners with one away. Tyler. Pretty happy about that one. So he takes that fastball right back to where it came from. <clears throat> Two to nothing is the score. Bottom of the third. Las Vegas trying to put more runs on the board. Is that Kevin Keenan <clears throat> is back into the lineup today. He took yesterday off. I'm not even taking a big lead, guys. Not even taking a big lead. I'm not even leading off. Come on now. Put a good swing on it. Here we go. Okay. Two two. Kevin Keenan in his last eight games scored seven runs. He's afraid to pitch? I don't know. Not really sure what's going on here. If you would just throw a pitch, you might strike the guy out, but you like to try to pick me off instead. And uh, Keenan, he's going to go down looking. Strike three, and that's going to bring up two outs. Three, a two count. Yes. And he strikes out the freaking two. He strikes out the. I swear, every time we get, I feel like almost every time we get off base, the the, the next two batters, or at least one of the next two batters, strike out. Happens every time. Happens every time. Not happy about it. At all. Kyler Murray, one and two. Or one, four, two, I should say. <clears throat> Bottom of the fifth. Hi, right, fastball. That's going to be a ball. Kyler in the last five games has scored four runs. That's ball two. He watches the second pitch go by. That is a ball two. Two and oh. Hey, one time right now. Oh, he hit it hard, but that's going to be directly to the left fielder. And uh, that's something we've noticed a lot with Kyler the last few games. Every ball he's hit hard, he's hitting it. I mean right at the guys Kyler with three for seven in this series thus far game two two away bottom of the seven 
this one's going to be popped out to left field. It carried a little more than we expected, but didn't carry enough to get out of the park. And that's going to be out number three. We're going to move along to eighth inning here in uh, Iron Horse Stadium. That's in Las Vegas, Nevada. The left field, number one. Plays that first now. Duzenak. Top of the eight, two away, two two count. Camden Duzenak up to the plate. Runner at first base. Well, it's hit sharply to center field, but Tyler not having to move too much. He brings this one in for the final out of the inning. Do up, we have Keenan, Melton, and Butler for the bottom half of the eighth inning. This game moseying right along as uh, yeah, the Aviators, there they are. They take another victory. They're going to go up 2-0 in this series unless unless uh, Kyler had a day off. He may have. I'm not sure. We'll take a look here when the score pops up. Yeah, 2-0. It's usually game three that Kyler has a day off anyways. <clears throat> I'd like to know what our records are. That would help me indicate, but I don't remember. All right, Kyler going one for four in that game. Welcome to the next game here at Iron Horse Stadium, home of the Las Vegas Aviators. Las Vegas coming into this game 79 and 64 with their as their record. They are making host to the Reno Aces, who have been struggling lately. The AAA team for the Arizona Diamondbacks. On the mound for the Aviators, we have Evan Lee. This is his seventh start of the season. 2-2 two and two record with a 3.55 ERA through 38 innings pitched. He's given up 38 hit or 30 hits, eight walks, and, and exactly 1.0 on the whip. Let's add to that 27 strikeouts thus far this season. Batting in the two hole today, we got Jordan Lawler. He's up to the plate with a 238 batting average. One two count with one away. And he is gonna softly hit this one to shallow center field. Kyler almost overrunning that one, but he brings it in. We're out number two. The first base Devison De Los Santos up. He is second on the team with 16 home runs this season. He has a little power in that bat. A little pop. Shallow hit line drive. Kyler trying to make a play on it, but can't come up with it. It's going to fall short of him. And that's going to be a base hit, leaving two men on base now. First and second base. <clears throat> We're going to move along. Kyler Murray now up here in the bottom half of the first. Score still is high 0-0. Zero, zero. Drew Jameson's on the mound for Reno. Kyler just trying to put a bat on the ball. Ends up hitting it solid over to the right side. Just over the outstretched arm of the second baseman and short of the right fielder for a base hit. Kevin Keenan up to the plate here. He has a one and two count bottom of the first. Two away as the Drew Jameson shakes off the pitch. Looks down to first. No go as he delivers. And Kevin Keenan is going to check swing, but it can't hold his swing, and that's going to be strike three. Inning is over. Do up for Reno. We have Ali Sanchez, Dominic Canzone, and Drew Jones. <clears throat> Drew Jones has been pretty, pretty quiet. Haven't seen much of him. De Los Santos. Top of the fourth now. Another ball hit out to center field. Kyler making a play on it. He's going to bring it in. That's going to be out number one.
2-2 count for Diego Castillo. Tyler not having to make much movement on this one as he's going to bring this one in. That's going to be out number two in the top fourth. The catch number 41. Here we go now. One for one. Kyler Murray. Four for nine on the series. He had a single in the first. That little bloop out to right field. Drew Jamison still on the mound here in the bottom of the fourth. Ooh, what are you swinging at, Kyler? All one's the count. Uh, he's going to hit another one out to right field. He got jammed on this one. That's going to be an out. Now bad, bad. The catch -up. Kevin. Here you go. Let's fly now. The center field. Number one. Simon. All right. Kyler Murray is still batting 315 on the season. I mean, he's got a batting average that would be worthy of a major league appearance, I would think. Bottom of the six, Las Vegas up by a run. Oh, got fooled on the circle change. That is a 1-1 one, one count now. He's been just off to the right of everything he's hit today. <laughs> wow, what a catch by the right fielder as he makes a diving, spectacular diving catch. Bring that one in and save uh, a would-be double, maybe even a triple. Kyler not happy about that one. They are now over to the top of the seventh. We have a runner on first base. Still one to nothing is the score. Shallow hit and the shortstop there to bring it in. That's going to be out number one, it looks like. Drew Jones, somebody we haven't seen much of. Surprising that he's batting in the eight hole. Somebody I would see a little bit higher up. And the, I'll tell you what, the Diamondbacks has a pretty good... I had no idea where that ball was. No idea. I mean, they got um, that Corbin guy. I think they have another young guy and then they have drew jones in the minors and they got they got some, some guys coming up some young guys they're good they're gonna be pretty good there it is top of the ninth on this one huh Two way, one nothing score. This is nerve wracking. Here we are, Drew Jones again. He's 0 for 3. He's batting 220 on the season. Four home runs, 24 RBIs. Man on first and second. Oh no. Oh, he's going home. No, we don't have the arm for this. Dang it. And they tied it up, man. We didn't. That's the thing, man. That's the thing. All right, here it is. Bottom of the ninth. Tie ball game. What do we do here? Oh, good. Oh, favorable call for us. It's now 1-0. and Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Ooh, we hit it hard, but that's... Yeah, it's going to be an out. Dang it. I hope we win this game. I would like to, like... I'd like to... Yeah, we do. Let's let the music play. Excuse me. And this is now a 3-0 series. Let's see if we can uh, sweep them.
Okay, we can move on. We can move on. Moving on to game four. Kyler Murray one for four in that game. And... Las Vegas Aviators now 80 wins on the season. And we got our boy Jorge Juan coming out on the field. And good thing as him and Luis Medina are back-to-back -back starters. We should see good performances by both of them. And maybe we can go 6-0 here. Jorge Juan, 12 starts with a 3-4 and four record. So his record doesn't indicate as good of a pitcher as he is. He was much better in double A, but that's okay. He's finding his footing. He's been pitching better as of late. And that's going to bring us into the bottom of the first now. Kyle Murray up. 27 RBIs on the season. That's third best on the team. Tyler Gilbert taking his first pitch against Kyler, and it's an 0-1 after the cutter hits the outer half of the plate. And Kyler going to rope this one into left field. That's going to drop in for a base hit. And a two-out rally might be on deck for us here. Excuse me, man. Three and one count now for Jacob Melton, and he's batting in the four hole today. Tends to be a little bit better against the lefties compared to Kevin Keenan. Swing and a miss. That's going to be the strike three and the final out of the inning. Nothing is to come of that base hit. Do up Davison, De Los Santos, Dominic Canzone, and PJ Higgins. We haven't seen anything from PJ Higgins this season or this series, I should say. Kyler at one for one today, five for 13 on the season. He's coming into his second at bat here in the bottom of the third, two away with a runner at first base. Reno actually winning this one for the first time this series. Oh, and Kyler swinging at a bad pitch, popping it out to right field. Ah, boy. Seth Beer, I love that guy. Seth Beer, De Los Santos, and Canzone do up. Here we go, fellas, let's go. Now bad. We're gonna we're moving right along in this game too, man. These games have been moving fast, I feel like. This game four. I mean, we've got one two and a half games left. There it is. Bringing it in, baby. I think Kyler could be on the major league team uh this start of the next season. Yeah. We'll probably have uh, next episode probably be off season. I don't know what in, what is entailed, what we do in the off season. Can't remember. It's been a while, so it might not be much. Ooh, we got bases loaded, baby. One away. Oh, and he hits it back up the middle. That's going to score a run and maybe two as he is coming around third and he is going to get in there. Clutch RBI, and that's going to be a go-ahead run for the Las Vegas Aviators as Kyler swings at the first pitch and bounces it off the mound just over the second base. Now the first base set. Big, Here. big RBI for Kyler Murray. Shallow hit, center field. Woo! Now that third base, Davison De Los Santos. Davison De Los Santos. Second base, Tim. All right, still two to one here, top of the seventh. Man on first for Reno. 
two away, one two count for Jack Weisenberger. Hit out to right center field. Kyler there calling everybody off, and he's going to bring it in for the out. <clears throat> That's going to take us to the seventh inning stretch where we have Golov, Stevenson, and Bride do up for the Aviators. Yes, it's a ball game. Kyler Murray's back up to the plate. He's gone two for three with two singles. Yeah, okay. Uh, power swing? Bottom of the eight. Anthony, a new pitcher on the mound. No! Get out of play! What do we do? Ooh, what did he throw me there? Cutter? Okay. I was like, that wasn't a fastball. Ooh, he threw it again. Okay. 87 miles an hour. Get out of play! Son of a gun. I just I swung at three bad pitches on that at bat. Now bad. Left field. Need to get some water. I got like drainage. Ah, there we go. And we win another one, baby. Four and oh. We're gonna move and two for four, two RBIs and two singles. Moving on to game five. Let's see what we got here. <sighs> okay. Las Vegas Aviators, 81 and 67 with what? Two games left? Not bad. Not enough though. Not enough, is it? Wow, he's got some acne scars. Luis Medina, three starts on the season with a 3-0 record. He has a 1.64 ERA through 22 innings. He's only given up 10 hits with nine walks with a 0.86 whip. 21 strikeouts that can be added to those stat lines. And he is looking to finish the season off strong here with another shutout. We'll see how he does. Get out to center field. Kyler making a track back to it. Brings it in. That's going to be out number one. And here we are, moving along. Bottom of the first, we have Kyler Murray. He's going up against Humberto Castellanos. Kyler Murray batting a 316 average so far this season. Two away, nobody on. We are have a dynamic challenge. Let's see what we can do here. Ooh, slider's always hard to hit, though. Oh, my God. He got me on the changeup. Oh, two now. Oh, my gosh. I accidentally, I almost accidentally hit the button. The swing. Nope, that's a ball. Ooh. Ball. All right. We got a 2 2 count now. <clears throat> really fighting for it. It's something we got to work on. Ooh, that was hard hit. That could be trouble. No. No, it wasn't. Wasn't troubled at all. Center fielder made it very, look very easy to bring that one in for the final out of the inning.
All right, we got De Los Santos and Canzone and somebody else new up next. We do now have a run on the board, so it's one to nothing here. Top of the third, Reno has a runner on first base with Jordan Lawler. Uh oh. Yeah, I was about to say Joel, Jordan Lawler up to the plate, but he just popped out. All right. This guy has an what an eight game hit streak. He's batting 238 on the season. Really don't want to try to pronounce his name. Uh, come on, second baseman, you could go for that, bro. I don't know about that one. <clears throat> I'm not happy about that one, actually. <clears throat> I feel like the second baseman had a better shot at getting that ball. All right. What do we have here? Bottom of the third. Nobody on one away. I hit back up the middle, but that might get in a base hit. It does. <clears throat> Do we try to steal here? I would like to. Ooh, yeah, look at that high. Okay. I think we can steal on this guy. Unless he tries to pick us off. Hey, get it up there, huh? Hmm. I'm concentrating. Concentrating. I don't want to get picked off, you know? Come on. You throw one pitch, and now you're going to try to pick me off? Did you hear me say that I wanted to steal? I'm going to keep leading off. I'm, I'm going to keep extending my lead. Oh no. Oh no. Got what was I doing? I, I don't know. My bad, dude. My bad. <clears throat> My bad. I didn't think he would actually throw it to third, I guess. I was just being dumb. Whatevs. I mean, the season's over. You know? We're up three to nothing. Bottom of the fifth. Perfect, perfect! That might be caught though. No, it's off the wall! And he's gonna bring it into a second with a stand-up double. Tyler getting his 22nd double of the season. About time he gets a good hit in there. He hasn't had a perfect perfect in a while. Good work. As we take another look at the replay here. Woo! Bottom of the fifth, nobody out. Come on, Kevin Keenan. Will you uh, get a base hit for me, bro? Hmm. And he walks. We got a couple of guys in the bullpen. Scott McGough and Mitchell Stumpo. 3-1 right right count now on Kevin Keenan. So he's going to foul this one away, making it a 3-2 count.
Yeah, we better stop at third this time, not keep running like we did the last inning. Kind of, kind of screwed the pooch on that one. Okay. Next batter up, Lawrence Butler. One for two today. Humberto throwing his 72nd pitch. And this is going to be hit hard. We're going to have to tag it up, and that's going to drop in for a base hit. Kyler on his way to the plate, and we're going to score another run. That's going to take us up to a 4 to nothing lead here in the bottom of the fifth. That's Lawrence Butler's 12th double of the season. <clears throat> And he makes good work there of Humberto the Cassianos. Is that what his name is? I remember now. All right. Kyler Murray, two for threes, eight for 19 on the series. Jeff Bain now in the pitch. Man on second base, bottom of the sixth. Oh my. We hit that a country mile, but it was foul. Oh, we got under it. Got under it just a little bit. I don't think that's going to get carry. And no. No, it doesn't. We're not able to advance the runner either. Unfortunately. <clears throat> that's going to be two outs here in the bottom of the sixth. Mm, this is trouble to get to. Ooh, he gets there barely. Man, that's trouble. That's hard to get to. <clears throat> well, that's going to be the second out here. Top half of the seventh inning. And Kyler coming up now. Two for four. Six to nothing here. Bottom of the eight. Ooh. Glad I didn't swing at that. Total, I uh, missed it. Total attendance popped up. Don't swing at that. As soon as I hit the button, I knew better. <sighs> Dang it. I mean, that was just a bad pitch all around. And there it is. Another victory in the books for us, baby. <clears throat> Man, this is kind of dragging out now. I, I thought we were moving along pretty fast, but we still have, what, one more game left? The final game of the season, really. And Luis Medina moves up to a 4-0 record. And the Aviators now lead this series 6-0. So here's our chance. We want to try to sweep them to end the season. What better way to go out? Then a six game sweep. Can't ask for anything better than that against a division rival at that. That's the uh, Las Vegas now. 82 wins. We're going to try to finish this one with 83 on the season. All right, on the mound, Adrian Martinez. We saw him in game one of this series. He has a five starts now with a seven and three record. 2.37 ERA through 140 and two thirds innings pitched. 1.05 whip, 121 hits and 26 walks. Coming up now here in the bottom of the first, batting at 317, he is the Texas League All-Star. Kyler Murray he has a runner on first base. One away as he steps up to the plate. Jamison Hill delivers the pitch. Kyler hits it hard, but left fielder is there. Brings it in. It's going to be out number two. Kyler is going to make a slow walk back to the dugout. He is uh, not happy with swinging at the first pitch there. He's going to have another opportunity here as... He is uh, coming up to the plate here in the bottom of the third. We have really put some runs on the board. It's now three to one. 
And you know, in the last game of the season, let's try to hit a home run. We'll go power swing on this one. Jamison Hill on the mound, 31 pitches thrown now. He pulls that one foul. Low fastball. Out of the zone, out of the zone, but Kyler Murray still swinging at it. Oh, that was the pitch to hit out if I ever saw one, but we just choked. Got on top of it. But it does result in a base hit. And uh, we now have Kyler on first base. Oh, it's a bad pitch in the dirt. Kyler's able to stand up into second base, and he's going to get a stolen base. Jacob Melton on deck. Kevin Keenan up to the plate. Three and one is the count. One away. He's going to end up walking, and we now have runners on first and second base. Oh, I didn't realize Jacob was the left fielder. My my controller just vibrated. I'm not sure why. Ooh, wow, that was close. One, two count, one away. 42nd pitch on the way. Oh, and they're going to try to pick me off. Luckily, I always push left on the joystick just in case. You never know. You never know. Oh, did he go? No, he didn't. 2-2 two, two is the count now. Come on, give us a base hit. I can score from here. Oh, there he's going to walk another guy. And we got Lawrence Butler up next. He's going to foul that one away, huh? Come on, dude. You're you're just dragging it out. It's the last game of the season. You're dragging it out. And the pitch. Ooh, he hits that one hard. Uh-oh, that's a good throw. No, no, it's not. Why why aren't you sliding? What? Am I hitting the wrong button to slide? <sighs> I'm it frustrates me. I don't apparently I don't know how to slide. Maybe it's on a auto slide. Probably. I need to go check my settings. Come on, Butler. Oh, that, man, it's, it popped up into the third before the ball even crossed the plate. That was weird. <coughs> even the umpires are ready for this game to be over. PJ Higgins, Tim Sawa, and Dominic Maraglio or something do up. Tim Tawa here, top of the fourth. Mm, can we get there? Whew. I'm always worried about those, you know, they're hard to get to. Four to one. Two runners on, two away. 
Hmm. <clears throat> I think if we time that one right, that's over the fence. Ooh. Okay. They're leaving this boy in there, huh? Man, it's only the fourth. I feel like he should be out of the game by now. No. Oh, it's a base hit. We're going to score a run. RBI, baby. Yeah. Celebrate. Are we going to end this season on a, on a sweep? Yeah, we're moving. Moseying along here. Another at bat. We got same, same, same opportunity, but we got a new pitcher. Two for three, two singles, RBI. We've got runners on a first and third. Bottom of the six, five to one. And oh, nice snag by the third baseman. He's gonna throw it down to second base and gets the out. Do up Dominic Miraglio, Drew Jones, and Camden. Duzanak. Man, they, man, these names, these names. I just, sometimes I think I should just give up. Reno put a, a run on the board, and they got two runners on. Better put my water down. There it is. Yeah, I'm starting. I feel like I'm starting to get a sore throat. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna move along to the top of the night. This is gonna be it. Drew Jones up. He's over two today, but he did have a walk in the second inning. Five to two is the score. Three outs away from closing this season out. Skyler is gonna get a short fly ball to center field, and that's gonna be out number one. There it is, baby. Victory is in the house. And we're going to celebrate our ending of the season with a sweep against the Reno Aces, our division rivals. Nothing special going on here. Adrian Martinez advances or in, uh, improves, I should say. That's the right word, I should say there. Improves with an 8-3 record. Tyler finishing the season out with a 2-4 and four at the plate. RBI and two singles. And ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, that's going to be it for this episode. If you enjoy this series, enjoy this season, give me a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And, uh, you know, watch watch how this season, you know, watch the entire season. Let me know what you think. He went, started in double A, moved up to triple A. And uh, we'll see what happens in the next episode. I don't know. I, we might get to play a week or two in the majors. That probably won't happen. I feel like that's happened in previous games. They've done that, but I don't know if it'll happen in this game. Uh, but if not, we're going to the off season and uh, I don't know what needs to be done. Probably nothing, but I'm, uh, we'll go into spring training and uh, I don't know if we'll play any spring training or not. It depends on if we're in the majors for spring training and we might play a couple games, um, but we're going to get the season started um, here pretty soon we'll do the off season that'll be our friday episode and then starting next week uh new season so excited super excited but again playlist up on screen click that watch that and until next time guys y'all have a good one peace